Palace Entertainment, the owners of Lake Compounds, and I could not agree on a new contract, and I wasn't going to stay at there at the terms they wanted me to operate under. Ernie spent months trying to find a new home for the now 30-year-old attraction. Eventually, a deal was stuck with the Francis family, owners of Lake Quasipog Amusement Park in Middlebury. The park season was extended, and Terror at Quasi was born. It's not the graveyard. Uh, it's, we've assembled seven small houses scattered throughout the park, along with some uh, haunt Halloween eye candy. Fans of the graveyard visiting Quasi may notice some of the haunt's highlights adapted into smaller standalone attractions, one key example being the endless hallway. Ernie's love for classic horror shines through, especially when it comes to the scare actors. Clowns, people love clowns, really they hate them, but they get petrified of clowns. Uh, vampires, werewolves, that kind of thing, classic horror. Quasi's modest 20 acres is rather diminutive when stacked up against the roughly 332-acre lake compounds. This posed a unique challenge for Ernie and the rest of Graveyard LLC while adapting the attraction, especially because of the park's two-week time constraint for setup. The limited time we had to set things up. Uh, two weeks isn't much. Thank God I have a really great crew and they know what they're doing. Uh, if they didn't, we would not have made it on time. 